Hi, I used the composer in Kesa and with a single prompt, I generated a SwiftUI freeform drawing app using the O1 Mini model of OpenAI. The middle drawing canvas was created with GPT-4 using the same prompt. And the third canvas is called 3.5 Sonnet. So all the three models, the O1 Mini model, GPT-4.0 and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. So in this video, I want to show you the prompt I used and how you can use the Composer in Kesa to generate code or an app using different models like the one you see here. These are all working drawing apps, but they are not perfect. For example, with the O1 model, most of the tools are not working. But once you have this UI as a starting point, you can go ahead and edit the code yourself and modify it to do what you want it to do. I have uploaded all the three projects to GitHub. You can download them from here and try them yourself. I will add a link to the description of the video. So to be able to generate the app, we need a prompt. So here I have already created this prompt to instruct each of the models to create a SwiftUI drawing app using the pencil kit framework. And here I specified a link to the Apple documentation and made it clear to the models I want these functionalities. So these are the drawing tools. Over here, we have the pencil tool, the pen tool, monoline, and the rest. I also want users to draw with different colors. So here I added a color picker. Finally, we have correction tools, such as undo, redo, eraser, and the ability to remove a drawing. So you can open Kesa and create an empty project and paste the prompt in the composer. To generate code in Kesa, you can either use the composer with command I or use AI chat with command L. If you want to generate multiple files for your project, then you should use the composer with command I. So if I go to the top left, I created an empty folder, SwiftUI Cloud Drawing. So here my intention was to use Cloud 3.5 Sonnet to generate the code and pasted the prompt here. Once you launch the composer in Kesa, you can bring the art symbol and reference files, folders, code, the web, and more. Over here, you can see I added the web and pasted the same prompt I showed earlier. So the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model did a great job by generating all these files, drawing app.swift, content view.swift, drawing view model, drawing canvas view, and toolbar view. From the top left, you can see I accepted all the files to add them to the project. Let's scroll down further. Once you generate all the Swift files here, you can set up Kesa to run them with the simulator. However, I find that to be very slow. So what I normally do is to create an empty Swift UI project in Xcode and copy all these files over and run the app with Xcode instead. So let's open the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet project in Xcode. Over here, you can see we have the same files as the ones I showed in Kesa. In the Kesa version, you can see here, we have drawing app.swift. So that is the entry point of the app. If I go to the Xcode version, I change the project name. So here we have Cloud Sonnet Drawing App.Swift. So once we run the app, we are going to display the content of Content View. And Content View displays the drawing UIs. So here we have a navigation view. As I told you before, this is not a perfect code. For example, here it is using navigation view instead of navigation stack. So once you have it this way, you can just come in and change everything here yourself. So in content view, we have a navigation view that displays the drawing canvas and a toolbar containing the drawing tools. Next, we have drawing canvas view.swift. Here we define this property, canvas view, and these two functions, make UI view, and add the drawing tools, and also the drawing policy. So for the drawing tools, we are using PK inking tool and with the default set to pen. So here we have different options. So if I put a period here, we can select from all these options. I'll show you where the drawing tools and the color are defined in one of the other files. Next, you can see here the default color is also black. So once you start drawing on the canvas, when the app launches, it uses a black color unless you change it with the color picker. The drawing policy also allows users to draw with the finger, or if you have Apple Pencil, you can draw with Apple Pencil as well. If you set it as any input, 
It allows users to draw with both the finger and Apple Pencil. If you like, you can also remove it. If I put a period here, we have any input, default and pencil only. If you set it to pencil only, then users can only draw with Apple Pencil and it will not allow them to draw with the finger. So let's leave it as before. Next, we have this function, update UI view. We call this function anytime the user changes the drawing tool, like switching from the drawing tools to any of the correction tools. Next, we have the drawing view model. So here we have these published properties and undo manager. That manages undo, redo, and the erasing features. Next, we set up the canvas view using the drawing tools and the drawing policy. Then we have the function update to that allows the user to switch from one tool to the other. Finally, we have the correction tools that is undo, redo, a function to allow you to clear the whole canvas. The next function is basically the same as clearing the canvas. So here it didn't add any implementation. Lastly, we have the toolbar view that displays all the drawing tools as patterns. So this is a summary of the code generated with the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model. The code generated by the other models work in the same way. I will go through those versions, but I will not go into detail how they work. So after generating all these files in Kesa using the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model, there was a minor error when I ran the code in Xcode, because over here, there was a little mistake. Instead of adding fountain pen, it added fountain. So when I ran the code, there was an error, but that was easy to fix. So let's go ahead and run it again. So you can see here, the first two is selected. We can start drawing and pick any of the other drawing tools as well. All the tools are working, I think, except the ruler tool. But once you have it this way, you can just go ahead and just implement the ruler functionality. So this is all about the code generated by the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model. Let's go back to Kesa again and look at that of GPT-40. Like the previous model, I pressed Command I to bring the composer in Kesa and added the same prompt. And here nothing changes. If I go to the top left, I created an empty folder, GPT-40 drawing, and used it to generate the necessary files. So if I scroll down, you can see we have the drawing view. So this is similar to the one generated with Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. So the GPT-40 version is quite simple. It used only two Swift files, the drawing view and content view, and put everything together. But everything is similar to Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. With the GPT-40 model, I also got an error. After copying the files over to Xcode, I got this error. So I came back to Kesa to give this follow-up prompt. And here it gave an explanation about how to fix the error. So let's open the project in Xcode. You can see here we have the same two files, the content view as I showed you in Kesa and the main drawing canvas. As you can see here, we have similar function implementation like the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. So let's go ahead and run this. We can now pick any of the drawing tools and start drawing. As I told you before, this is not a perfect UI. So you can come in here and change everything yourself. Lastly, I will show you the version of the O1 Mini model. The Swift files generated by the O1 Mini model were quite similar to those generated by the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model. So we have the color picker view, content view, drawing canvas view, and this one as the entry point of the app. Then we have the toolbar that arranges the drawing tools in a horizontal scroll view. Lastly, we have the actual drawing tools. If I open the O1 Mini project in Xcode and run the app again, you can see here there is a huge gap. But as I told you before, you can just go ahead and modify the UI to suit what you need. I also noticed most of the tools added by the O1 Mini model are not working. If you click them, they crash the app. So you can come in here and fix it yourself or copy the error and fix it in Kesa. So this is how you can build an app in Kesa using different language models like the OpenAI's O1 Mini model, GPT-40 and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. Thanks for watching this video.